Hello, Wise Makoti. I hope you are well. Thank you so much for joining us uh, during this prayer and fasting today. I hope you managed to get time to pray. I hope you managed to get time to read the word. And God spoke to you during uh, this wonderful time of uh, prayer and fasting. I uh, would like us to go into the word of God just to encourage each other as we are going to break this fast. Uh, I'm going to read the word. I will read Luke chapter 10. Uh, I will start from verse 38. It, 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 it reads as follows. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Mary, uh, Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, My dear mother, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it and will not it will be taken away from her. Wow, Mary chose the right path according to what Jesus is saying here in the word of God, that Mary chose to sit at the feet of Jesus and hear the word and listen to Jesus talking. She chose to spend her time with God. This is what we did today. We chose to spend time with God. We chose not to be worried about a lot of things, but we chose to sit at Jesus' feet and hear him talk to us. I want to believe that, wise Magoti, you had time to spend with God. It is important to spend time with God because when you spend time with God, he reveals things that he has never revealed to anyone. When you spend time with God, he strengthens you in the faith. When you spend time with God, he reveals things that are still to come. When you spend time with God, you are able to listen and hear him speak to you. Let's choose to spend time at Jesus' feet. Let's allow him to take over our lives. Today we were praying. We were praying for our country. We were praying for our president. We were praying for those who are sick. We were praying for a miracle, wise Magoti. And I believe that when we were together, because the word of God says we're two or three gather, we gathered, we gathered in spirit. We gathered and his presence is with us because we are gathering in one accord. The Bible also tells us in Acts that when they gathered in one accord, when they were meeting in one accord, miracles happen. Great things happen. And I want to believe that when we were gathering today, we were together in spirit and God moved. God heard our prayer. 
Remember the message I sent in the morning. I want us to go to that scripture of the message which was sent this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just quickly uh, go to Ephesians. Uh, quick, quick. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. And the word of God, I think it's 618. Yes, it is 618. It says, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayer. This is in NLT. Be persistent in your prayer for all believers everywhere. For everyone. You are not praying for yourself here. It says be pers persistent in prayer when you are praying for others. Not praying for yourself. Yes, you also have your own issues. But the one thing I learned in praying for others in being persistent, praying for others. Like God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things shall be added to you. So for me, when I pray, when I seek his kingdom, when I'm worried about other people, when I'm praying for other people, when I'm concentrating on things that matter, things that matter, to God than things that matter to me. Martha was busy worrying about preparing dinner. Hmm? Was worried about things that feed the flesh. But Mary was worried about things that feed the spirit. She was not worried about things that are happening in the flesh. Things that are happening around her. She was not even worried about the kitchen at that time. She was worried about having God's presence there. She was seeing the importance of God's presence. And she wanted to spend her time with him. Are you worried to spend time with God? What worries you the most? Is it to spend time with God or is it to get this material stuff that we are crying for? Hmm? What worries you the most? Is it to have a house? Is it to have food? Is it to have children? Is it to have loving husband? Or is it to spend time with God? When you choose to spend time with God, when you choose to be persistent praying for other people, God solves your problems. He resolves your issues. You don't have to worry about your own issues because God himself will worry on your behalf. He will solve it on your behalf. Huh? God said we must not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry for itself. He has answers for everything. God will sort it out. Hmm? Those problems that you just hand over to him and say, God, you sort it out. Right now, I just want to be in your presence. I just want to worship you. I just want to adore you. I just want to glorify you. And you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray with that wise Makoti. Who says, Things are not going well in my marriage. I'm going to pray with you. Who says my husband is not coming back? I'm going to have that persistent prayer. Persistent prayer for other people. That wise Makoti, who says my husband is abusive emotionally. The things he says to me they are killing my spirit. I'm going to pray 
The word of God encourages us to pray in the spirit. It says we must pray in the spirit. Where only God can hear. Where there is an encryption. And the password is only with God. Not even evil spirit can capture that prayer. Not if dropping on that prayer. Not if dropping on that prayer. Not even the devil can hear what you are saying when you are praying in the spirit. Only God can hear it. I encourage you to pray in the spirit. Why is my good? Pray more in the spirit because you know that your prayer will reach God and only him will be able to hear it. At times, not even yourself hear what you are saying. But the Holy Spirit was left here with us. He's the one that helps us to pray in the spirit. He's the one that gives us utterance of praying in the spirit. I want us to go and pray. Let's close our eyes as I pray. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, we come before your throne. Only you are holy. Only you are mighty. We want to be prayerful women. Our cry is to spend time with you. Our cry is to sit at Jesus' feet. We don't want to be worried about a lot of things that are happening. We want to be at your feet. Because at your feet, there is life. At your feet, mighty God, there is liberty. At your feet, there is freedom. At your feet, there are answers that we look for. We cannot find these answers anywhere else. Lord God Almighty, I'm coming before you as I pray for the wise Makotis out there who are having issues in their marriages. You created marriage so that we can enjoy it. I am praying right now for that one there who says her marriage is breaking and she really wants to fix it. I am also praying for that one who says her husband is abusing her. I am praying also for that one who says her husband, mighty God, is busy fooling around with other women. I am praying for that one that the husband is not coming back home. I am praying for that one, oh God. Who says things are not going well in a marriage. Kulabanda la sikata, kendele basi ati alabo. 
Rubanda la sikati ene ndele mora. Shidili basi ndele. Rere moro diara. Kia dara rebo. Rene rebo sikete rebo. Robo ndiara bo. Kuyanda raba sika ndala bo. Ndiele mendele seketi ala bo. Cry, Lord, is to be at your feet. I will cry, Lord. Is to know you better. Jesus. Why is my good The Lord has heard our prayers. I know we prayed for our president. The whole day you were praying for the country. God has heard those prayers. He says he has heard those prayers. Let's believe him at his word. Let's believe in our God who is able to do the impossible. Whatever it is that you have, take it to God in prayer. Your friends are not going to help you. Your mother is not going to help you. Your father is not going to help you. Only prayer can help you in whatever situation that you are in. Believe God. Believe his word. Thank you so much that you were with us today when we were doing our fasting prayer. We're going to have this fasting prayer every Thursday of the week. And we will pray to God. And thank you. I've been receiving messages from those who are saying it's their first time Congratulations that you are praying, saying it's your first time praying, fasting, and I know God will strengthen you. Even you who haven't started fasting, try it. You will see. It's so great. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy spending time with God. You're not even going to feel hungry because you will be reading the word and praying. Join us next week Thursday as we pray praying for our marriages praying for our country praying for other people we are intercessors we have appointed ourselves that whatever that is happening in our country we will be there praying have a blessed blessed evening amen stay blessed